Hello, we are discussing about gate 1991 ECE paper and this question is related to analog circuits. Look at the circuit diagram and in that one given operational amplifiers are ideal and their output can swing from minus 15 to plus 15 volts. Sketch the waveforms of voltages at V1 and V2 as a function of time. For the given circuit, we are going to draw the waveforms for V1 and V2 okay, with respect to time. Say this is going to be, look at this one. This is op amp 1, assume that one, this is second op amp, op amp 2. Okay. Op amp 1, if you are observing, there is no feedback present for this op amp 1. From So there is no negative feedback, what it has is nothing but only positive feedback. Since the op amp is given, okay. Feedback is nothing but a part of output is connecting back to input side. So output of op amp 1 is connecting back to non-inverting terminal. So this type of feedback is treated as positive feedback. And if the output is connecting back to inverting terminal, then that will be called as negative feedback. Now op amp 1 has positive feedback. Whenever it has positive feedback, output will be either it plus 15 or minus 15 that is output will be always equal to saturation voltages either it may be plus 15 or minus 15 so you can write one important point since op amp 1 has positive feedback okay v1 will always be will be always at plus or minus 15 volts because it has given as saturation voltage at plus 15 minus 15 so when it will be at plus 15 when it will be at minus 15 v1 okay so that depending on voltage present at non-inverting terminal if non-inverting terminal is dominating over inverting terminal then output will be at positive saturation Otherwise, if non-inverting terminal is less than inverting terminal voltage, then the output will be at negative saturation voltage. So, you can write it as V1 is equal to plus 15 volts. Okay. If V plus voltage at this point, let us assume it is V plus. V plus is greater than V minus. That is nothing but 0 volts. Else, V1 is equal to minus 15 if V plus of first op amp is less than 0. This will be the condition. So output of op amp 1 is always either plus 15 or minus 15 and it will be plus 15 if the inverting uh, if the non-inverting terminal voltage of op amp is positive. If the non-inverting terminal voltage is negative then output will be minus 15 since it is simply acting as a comparator. Okay. This is first point you should remember and second one. Second one is nothing but what is the relation for the how to get the value for V plus. Okay. So V plus is nothing but this is a voltage. Okay. Say it as V plus. So this is first step. Second step we are going in this way. <coughs> Apply KCL. Okay. KCL at V plus. So KCL at V plus is nothing but this node you are applying KCL. And we know that one no current flows into this side. So currents are going to be only flows from V plus onwards. So only these three branches are connected V plus effectively. As op amp doesn't draw any internal currents. So you can write it as for the first branch for this one V plus minus 0 divided by 1k that will become as v plus by 1 okay and next second one this branch i am considering v plus minus v1 plus v plus minus v1 divided by 3 okay this is minus plus next third branch is this one v plus minus v2 by 1 v plus minus v2 by 1 is equal to 0 and all V plus terms if you are taking one side and V1 and V2 other side, you will get it as 3 if you take. 
this will become 3v plus 3v plus 7v plus so 7v plus is equal to v1 plus 3v2 you will get so v plus is equal to 1 by 7 times of v1 plus v2 this is very very important so how to calculate the value of v plus is nothing but v plus is equal to 1 by 7 times of v1 plus v2 from this one you will calculate v plus and if it is positive at that time v1 will be at plus 15 if it is negative v1 will be at minus 15 now we know v1 can be either plus 15 or minus 15 but what is the value of v2 v2 is nothing but voltage across output node so you must get the value of v2 for that one we are going for the third case okay v2 is this one now if you are looking at this circuit op amp 2 at that time it is acting as integrator okay integrator is nothing but you are going to say v2 is equal to you can write directly as minus 1 by rc integral of v1 dt since op amp 2 act as integrator v2 is equal to directly you can write minus 1 by rc integral v1 dt okay and this you can write it as v2 is equal to minus 1 by r value is 1k 3 microfarad so this is 3 microfarad which implies nothing but 1 by 3 into 10 power 3 you can write okay k into micro will become minus 10 power minus 3 in the denominator that will become 10 power plus 3 in the numerator with integral of vi vi can be either plus 15 or my v1 can be either at plus 15 or minus 15 remember it sorry this is t only plus 15 or at minus 15 so now we are going to check about what can be the value of v2 when v plus will become 0 when v plus will become um, positive and negative okay so this is a diagram given and we know that v plus is equal to 1 by 7 times of v1 plus 3 times of v2 this is one equation and v2 is equal to okay, 1 by 3 into 10 power plus 3 times of integral of 0 to t okay and it is v1 into dt this is what second equation and we know the turn v1 can be either plus 15 or minus 15 okay so now i am going in this way this is the diagram so i am assuming that one v1 is going to be plus 15 initially and later it is going towards minus 15 after some time I will calculate what is the time for that one and next it is going back to plus 15 next it is going back to minus 15 so this is nothing but v1 okay and it is time scale this will be in milliseconds and it is 0 so case 1 let initially v1 is at 15 volts plus 15 volts whenever v1 is going to be at plus 15 volts okay then what will be the value of v plus v plus is going to be all okay and if it is not v plus we will calculate first v minus because v plus you will get from that value only so that v1 is equal to plus 15 and v2 you can write it as minus 1 by rc minus 1 by rc that is 1 by 10 power 3 by 3 integral of 15 dt 15 integration is nothing but uh, 15 is constant so 3 into 5 it will become v2 is equal to 5 into minus 5 into 10 power minus 3 into t you will get this is what v2 okay so you know that one v plus is equal to 1 by 7 times of v1 plus 3 v2 so at 
T is equal to 1 millisecond. Can I say that one V2 is equal to 1 millisecond is 1 into 10 power minus 3. 10 power minus 3, 10 power plus 3 will get cancelled. So that you will get it as minus 5 volts. Then V plus at T is equal to 1 millisecond. Can it is going to be said as 0? Because V1 is plus 15. V2 is minus 5. Minus 5 into 3 is nothing but minus 15. So plus 15 minus 15. V plus will become 0. And for T greater than 1 millisecond, V plus will be go negative. Okay. So V plus will go negative. That implies nothing but the output will have. V1 will change from plus 15 to minus 15. Whenever V plus is changing, 